Meanwhile, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is all set to meet with his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin at the Russian port city of Sochi for key talks today. Now, this will be Erdogan's second round of talks with Putin in a span of two weeks. And the meeting comes just after the first ship carrying the Ukrainian grain left the Black Sea under a Turkey United Nations broker deal between Kiev and Moscow. Now, according to Ankara, the key focus of the meeting will be regional and global developments along with bilateral relations. Now, Erdogan's trip, his eighth to Russia since the start of 2019, follows a three-way meeting with Putin and the Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi in Tehran last month. Now, analysts say that Erdogan's success in brokering the crucial grain deal has now given Erdogan the needed visibility that he's been waiting for for the last few years. Also, most Turkish people currently support their country's quasi-neutral position between the West and Russia. Now, along with the ongoing war, leaders are also likely to discuss Turkey's possible onslaught on northern Syria. This is because Turkey and Russian ties are intertwined. In a mixture of rivalries and cooperation, and Syria is one such area between Moscow and Ankara where Russia has repeatedly expressed its disagreements over Turkey. Now, Erdogan was told by Putin in Tehran last month that Russia remains opposed to any new offensive that Turkey might be planning against the Kurdish rebels in northern Syria. The Ankara needs Moscow's cooperation for its military operation given that Russia controls the Syrian airspace. Erdogan said last month that the military offensive in Syria could start any moment and that the government is waiting for the right time to launch the attack. The main purpose of the planned operation is to expand the security zone that was created in October 2019 after the Operation Peace Spring. And this will help Ankara to eliminate the pro-Kurdish forces from the region, which it considers to be an offshoot of the banned Kurdistan Workers' Party. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.